Now, there's a lot of tech that's packed into the Mahindra XUV 7XO and telling me about this is Mahindra's engineering guru and the president of the auto business, Mr. Velu Sami. Velu, always a pleasure. Uh, I mean, I you know, firstly, it's just mind-boggling how much you can pack into a vehicle like this. It's like literally, I think, you know, it feels like you as an engineer, you're like a, you know, a child in a candy store and getting everything <laughs> and just putting as much in here as possible. So, you know, when you thought there couldn't be more tech, you've gone and put more tech in terms of, uh, let's say, uh, well, the three screen setup and of course, even now cool seats uh, at the rear. So, I'm just, you know, I want to understand firstly the Ethernet backbone. Uh, is that still future proof for even more or are you maxing it out slowly? So, um, it, it, this is the SDV1 and uh, there are multiple generations would come. And if you, uh, the gender, uh, right now we have sorted out the reaching out to every controllers in the car that you are able to do the photo. Now, the next generation will be to reduce the number of ECUs. Right. So, that will be. And uh, if you have N, it may be N, N divided by 2 and N divided by 4. That's the generation it will take. Of course, it brings a lot of uh, inflexibility in terms of variance. Right. Because the moment you start uh, combining the ECUs, it will give inflexibility. But we need to cleverly find an answer. Right. So, like the Davinci damper system uh, or the Davinci suspension system, we found an answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm going to come to that as well. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, just sticking with, uh, let's say, your, your electrical architecture, uh, clearly, I mean, going forward, just for our understanding, is just computing firepower now getting more and more important and is really down to the power of the chips because yes. that is really what's uh, yes. driving not just automobiles but technology today. Technology. In the computing power, you have three key powers. Uh, the computing power of CPU, the central processing unit, the DMIPS that you have. Right. It's just a generic algorithm to execute whatever it is. And the GPU, the graphic uh, processing unit, yeah. the uh, the teraflow flops, Correct, yeah. uh, the floating, a lot of parallel processing, processing. Uh, that's the graphical uh, processing, right. multiple graphic right. processing. Another is the uh, the ADAS related, uh, the ML algorithm, the machine learning algorithms and neural networks that you can run. That is uh, tops that you run. Right. So these are three different uh, cores. So actually, there are six cryogenic cores or uh, uh, cryo cores inside this 8155 and they all do different different th things and this multifunctional cores being brought in 8155 is enhancing different aspects of the controllers and that's why you are able to see right. Dolby Vision, uh, Dolby Atmos and uh, the 4K videos you can play in this right. car. 4K videos inside, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Velu, let's talk about ADAS because yeah. I think you've enhanced the ADAS as yeah. well. I mean, uh, what does this mean for the consumer in terms of, so uh, it's, uh, is it uh, uh, more smoother? More smoother, more accurate. It's able to detect uh, the two-wheelers. Two-wheeler is the very difficult That's thing right. to detect. It, it comes into it's a sort of blind spot. Small, yeah. Blind spot. And also the standing cows. If the cow is not moving, uh, can you contour it and detect it? If the cow is sleeping on the road, can you detect it? Uh, right. Because the, the, it will detect and then it will apply a brake. Also, the human being standing on the road, roadside, uh, in, in different of those. Uh, so, all of them it is able to detect because it has then 8 megapixel camera and, and then the uh, chip computing power has gone about 300 times the uh, computing power right we have loaded the uh, the neural network algorithm so right. earlier we had a linear algorithm and the linear algorithm we have removed it and brought the neural network algorithm it has an ai component in it so right. it's able to make the judgment of what's what's right. happening in front so of better the judgment this time better and judgment. looking at uh, typical objects on indian roads like cows cyclists all that yeah all this, right yeah. fantastic and, and then the decision making right so when you have the neural algorithm right. it's far better and far uh, too fast right because you run parallel uh, uh, checks. Right. It's not a linear algorithm. Got it. And uh, it just uh, one thing, uh, one more thing, Vilu, let's talk about the suspension because I think, uh, to be honest, the XUV 700, uh, <coughs> there were a few customer complaints on the suspension. We'd also talked about it, a little bit of rumble and a little bit of stiffness. So, uh, with this new suspension, I mean, how have you kind of, let's say, uh, body control is better, uh, mm -hmm. the ride is plusher. Yes, yes. Obviously, it's a very sophisticated damping uh, yes. system. So, when you have a soft, uh, the ride quality, good ride quality, 
and when you go over potholes and when the tire goes and hits the lips of the potholes right right you get a shock load that's right and yeah. then you get a thud sound right uh, and, right and, yeah. and the yes. whole especially on the rebound uh, rebound uh, that is what we have completely eliminated in this car so you have an uh, uh, the dobbins damper system that significantly rises the 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 damper characteristics as you saw in the graph and when you go closer to uh, uh, 180 200 mm of the travel region then you get a hydraulic damper instead of a rubber which becomes right, a right, solid right, right. the right. hydraulic damper gives that cushion rounded feeling so uh, tomorrow when you when you when you go at a, a high speed and go and hit a rumbler you will see that uh, rounded feeling and you would never get that sound right and last question velu on this platform uh, 700 really has been a very uh, successful platform uh, just wanted to understand you know what's the life of this platform now 4 years after refresh obviously could we look at a full model change on this platform or you know will there be a completely new platform uh, going we will, forward uh, this is a very very successful platform for us from the architecture point of view crash point of view power and packaging <laughs> point of view uh, the occupants uh, space uh, point of view uh, and the suv ness positions and and uh, from every perspective the architecture is fantastic we will keep upgrading these platforms with the technologies but fundamentally uh, it's a five star rating uh, platform right. and very lightweight platform right so the core uh, you'll stay core we will uh, keep it and we will keep updating as and when we get a new technology right velu congratulations thank thanks you very so much. much thank you thank you